But why is she accused of ruining actor Monique's life? How do you as a black woman watch another black woman be thrown under the bus based off of a lie? She trusted Oprah with her secrets. I shared my relationship with her about my mother. But then I began to see commercials with my mother, with my brother. Monique's older brother, Gerald, comes clean. I did inappropriately touch my sister. He abused you from the time you were seven. Oprah Winfrey. What you did was malicious, and it was intentional, and it was ugly. But after Monique finally stood up for herself, she was attacked. Started getting labeled as difficult. For eight years, my family has suffered, and my career has suffered. Monique is in the media right now. Why don't you address it? Oh my gosh, because it's impossible. You can't meet negative energy where it is. Oprah has disrespected victims many times in her career. Is Monique going to be the one to finally take down Oprah? Oprah Winfrey, I'm never, ever going to waver. Stop hiding. You know what you need to do. A lot of people say, how could you say that? Oprah is a human being. She bleeds, she breathes, and one day she'll expire. And if you feel like there's something you need to say to anyone, I feel like you should say it. When it comes to Oprah and Monique's falling out, it's actually more complicated than it seems. We discovered that it's deeply personal. So both Oprah and Monique grew up in very abusive households. Monique had always looked up to Oprah ever since she was young. I'm a little black fat girl from Baltimore, Maryland, and I saw this fat black woman on a TV show. We took a field trip to that studio, and I hugged that woman. And I said, when I grow up, Miss Winfrey, I want to do what you do. And she said, you know, you got to work really hard. And she did just that. She worked extremely hard and achieved her dreams of becoming a stand-up comedian. And every time her path crossed with Oprah, they grew closer and closer. That woman hugged me and said, when I look at you, I ain't doing nothing but looking at me. And I shared my relationship with her about my mother as she shared hers with me. And so by the time she got her big break doing the movie Precious, it was a great opportunity for her to work with Lee Daniels, which was an old friend, and Oprah as well. Everybody was so used to seeing Monique as a comedian that nobody was expecting her to do such a great job. The first thing I said to her was, who's your favorite designer? Because you need to get your dress ready to walk down that red carpet to the Oscars, girl. Everyone was talking about Monique's performance. Now producers are wanting to fly her around the world. They want her to promote the movie. But at this point, her priorities had already shifted. There was a request from the movie studio that I fly to France for the Cannes Film Festival. I simply said, I respectfully decline. And I said to them, my deal is with Lee Daniels, and I've done my job. I did all of my contractual obligations, and I was done. Why wouldn't she want to go to Cannes? At this point, she'd already had two failed marriages. By the third marriage, she was desperate to spend time with her family. When they called, I had a couple days just downtime. I wanted to spend that with my husband and my kids. I said, guys, I'm spending time with my family. I'm going to pass. And they all agreed. Monique thought she had the support of everybody, Oprah, the producers, but it was far from the truth. We were on the campaign, and she was making unreasonable demands. You got to play ball. This is not just show. It's show business. And the backlash only got worse. I got labeled as difficult because I said one word. And that was no. Now I said no to some very powerful people. What Tyler Perry showed me, Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate. When you don't do what we ask you to do, we'll take your livelihood. But this isn't the only difficulty that Monique is facing at the time. So while she's getting backlash because she wasn't playing the game, Monique had been betrayed by somebody that she never saw coming. This is where things shift from professional to deeply personal. What happened? Oprah Winfrey called us up. And she said my brother wanted to come on the show. Your older brother you described as a monster. And he abused you. Yes. From the time you were seven. How did he abuse you? Are we talking about Oprah Winfrey? People are beginning to see.